Ryan here and today we're hopefully going to have a fun video. What is inside an LED light bar? And for this video we've chosen the Nylite 52 inch, assuming this is a 300 watt light bar, at least that's what the model number says here. And we're going to be uh, taking this light bar apart and finding out what is inside an LED light bar. And for those of you who have seen the uh, What is Inside channel, uh, rather than just cutting this light bar in half, we're actually going to take it apart. Hopefully you'll see a little bit better what is actually inside the light bar rather than just uh, chopping it in half. If we uh, chop it in half, you probably won't see much. Actually, we'll, we'll start by probably taking the end caps off here, and that's probably what a chopped off light bar is going to look like. So let's uh, bring the camera in a little closer, and let's get started. Okay, before we get started taking it apart here, just wanted to point out one thing. I do have an amp meter running on this uh, power supply here. And we're running 9.6 amps according to this uh, amp meter on this light bar. So that would make it closer to, somebody can uh, correct my math on this, being 12 volts should be roughly 120 watt of light here as opposed to the 300 it claims. That of course, at least that's what it's drawn anyway. So right, let's uh, get started. Of course the light is on at the moment, it is working. So let's uh, start by taking it apart here and see what's what makes it tick. Okay, we'll start by taking the end caps off here. Drop that screw, pick that up a minute. And there's the end cap. Looks like a ceiling rubber piece inside there. And uh, like I was saying, if we were to cut the light bar in half, this is pretty much what you would see at this point. Uh, pretty much any point we cut this light at, it's pretty much what it's gonna look like, minus maybe some electronics here and there. We can kinda see a cross section of what the light bar looks like. And that is one thing you notice about this light bar right away, is actually the cooling fins on it are very shallow. Uh, it seems like most light bars, you know, typically are like out to here, so this one is maybe inch and a half wide. Okay, we'll take the other end cap off. Uh, this is the one where the power connection comes out of, by the way. Or the side, anyway, where it comes out. Again, same thing. In fact, they're probably both the same. Yes, it looks like they actually are. Okay, now it looks like from what I'm seeing here, these pieces need to slide out. Uh, it seems like most light bars I've seen actually have screws all along here holding this on. I'm assuming that probably provides a little more positive clamping force on this uh, clear piece of plastic here. And that's actually something I noticed in the comments with this light. A couple people did complain about moisture getting in here. So we'll, uh, we'll take this off here. Okay, just finished sliding both of these pieces here that held the front on off. So we got both of them off. And now we can lift off the clear plastic piece here. Probably some sort of polycarb if I had a guess. And looks like we've got some sort of sealer here. Kind of an interesting uh, type. Almost like a really, uh, really stretchy rope. Okay, once we're in the light here, you can see all the little reflectors here. Looks like each reflector contains four LEDs and then Hopefully you can see it right there too. We got two different kinds. Probably flood if I had to guess, and then spot. So flood type LE, or the reflectors, produces more of a flood light, whereas this will produce more of a spot light. So let's uh, pop those off and see what's behind there. Okay, got all the screws loose here. I've not taken them out yet. So we'll start by taking out the reflectors here. And you can kind of see the design there. Not a whole lot to it really. And for those of you wondering, how many LEDs are in this light bar? Well, I did some uh, math here. Yes, uh, scary, I know. I counted the number of reflectors here. Rather than counting the LEDs, there's a total of 25 reflectors. So, for those of you good at math, how many LEDs is that? Well, if you're good at math, you should come up with 100 LEDs. 
And here again, here's the other style. Got both styles of reflectors there. Okay, so there we go. We're kind of into the uh, the brains of the operation here, if you will. You can kind of see, look, looks like a circuit board back there with all the little LEDs on it. And a couple electronics there. Uh, looks like two boards soldered together here. And that one thing I didn't notice, I don't know if folks can see that or not, look at the yes solder joint on that one. Yes, not too good. Uh, one wire that runs all the way across here. And we got some electronic doodads here. What is that? An inductor, uh, IC chip, MOSFET, I believe. And then kind of the same thing on the opposite end here as well where the power comes in. These are the two wires coming in, your positive and your negative. And again, you can see some more electronics on this side as well. So a group of electronics here, and then all the way to the other board, another group of electronics. So yes, yeah, so rather interesting to see what's inside of an LED light bar. And uh, by the way, probably what makes this LED light bar so cheap is the uh, type of LEDs they use. I don't know how close I can get to this, but hopefully you can see the uh, type of LED there. Not necessarily maybe what type it is, but uh, the fact that this is a uh, cheaper style LED uh, to my understanding, and that is what makes this light a lot cheaper than the rest. Okay, I went ahead and took out the three screws on this end circuit board here. This is just the end, a little bit uh, shorter one. Looks like uh, I'm guessing 40 LEDs on this board versus 60 on the other longer one here. Kind of curious to see what's, what's under here. I'm suspecting not much other than maybe some thermal compound. Oh uh, yes, and I want to be careful I don't lift this up too much because it is soldered together down over here. We can see some uh, thermal compound there. Two, uh, two rows of thermal compound. You can see it on the board there as well. That's kind of interesting. And yes, these uh, LEDs do produce uh, quite a bit of heat, so that's why the cooling fins are there. Uh, like we mentioned at the start of the video too, uh, definitely a lot shorter light than most uh, LED light bars. So anyway, I think that about does it here for taking this apart. I don't think there's much else to take apart on here. You can kind of see the, uh, the insides of an LED light bar there. Just thought I'd uh, point out with the light uh, all taken apart here, it's only drawn 9.1, 9.2 amps as opposed to what it was drawing earlier. Just thought that was rather interesting. I just happened to uh, notice that. Okay, folks, there we go. With that, we're gonna wrap up the video here. Hope you folks enjoyed seeing what is inside the LED light bar. And as you can see, it is still working here yet. I do have everything out of it yet. All the reflectors are out. So anyway, with that, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.